Now, we're kicking off with a fan favorite, Grandpa Monster. Woo! Oh, yeah, Grandpa. Okay, but who is the famous face under this old geezer? Check this out. I've always hated the sound of my singing voice, but being Grandpa Monster, it's given me a new kind of confidence. A little man who makes me your man. I haven't felt this free since the time I stranded myself in the wild, cast away, just to see if I could survive. Cast away? Tom Hanks? Left without food, water, and shelter. I mean, I was terrified. There were wild creatures everywhere. Oh, that's a boxer. Oh, a fighter. It definitely was a challenge, but I made it out by the skin of my three teeth. And now I'm here to take on another challenge, securing that golden mask. I know I'm up against some stiff competition, but I've traveled the world and sold out arenas. Not even that pesky piglet can stand in my way, because when I talk the talk, I walk the walker, baby. Tonight, we're headed back to the singer's childhood homes to find out the identity uh. of their very first crush. Oh. oh, snap. Let's see who Grandpa Monster had a crush on when he was a kid. Men in black, bring out the wall. Bring them out. We took the whole wall. What is this? Took the whole brick wall. And turn it around. The rock. Oh, <laughs> no. oh. Dwayne Johnson. Yes. I like Dwayne Johnson because his muscles are huge, his head is shiny, and he's a star in the ring and on the screen. Oh, oh. snap. I think I know who this is. There is no one who loves The Rock more than Kevin Hart. What? I think it's Kevin Hart because he's got the best energy. No. Look from the clue package, and you look at that jet, he like owns a jet. The guy <laughs> is like big timing it right now. <laughs> he's got his back turned. That's exactly what Kevin Hart would do. Oh my gosh. Kim, if Kevin Hart was in this costume, it would be this tall. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm gonna say, I don't think it's Kevin Hart, but another very close friend of The Rocks and dances just like that is Jack Black. Oh, Boom. that's a good guess. That's pretty good. OK, I want to hear from you, Nicole. So we saw the dog, which was a boxer. Conor McGregor's a fighter. That's true. Ooh. Conor McGregor's aggressive. He rips that whole picture up of Piglet. But then the more I thought about the bad reputation, it made me think of these two YouTube brothers, Logan and Jake Paul. Yes. And one of them challenged Conor McGregor to a fight. I think it was Jake. Yeah. Jake Paul. Wow. I like, I, I like that That's guess. That's an outside the box guess. He's got a bad reputation. He's got a bad reputation. Yeah. Little do here with some hot gossip on the bacon. A beef between Grandpa Monster and Piglet. I was backstage. I heard Piglet sing, dude has got pipes. He's very talented. I'm coming after that pig. Watch out, Piggy, because word on the street is this isn't the first fight Grandpa Monster's picked. I want his bacon! I told him I saw him backstage. I said, you got a beef with me? Bring it. Piglet's here, oh, man. and he's hungry. Making my debut on this stage with four days' notice was a wild ride. But I channeled my nervous energy with a love song that made me feel right at home. Game over. You are amazing. Not everyone was a fan. Looking at you, Grandpa Monster. But when you got your eye on the prize, no pain, no tears, and no arch nemesis can stand in your way. All right, this pig has been in some battles. I always had the chops, but it was my competitive nature that made me a hometown hero. Knight in shining armor. When I got to the big leagues, I never anticipated a lifetime of competition with my arch rivals. But that only made me train harder, because I never throw in the towel. Tonight, when those lights come on, it's Friday night all over again, even on a Wednesday. Clear eyes, full belly, can't lose. All right, men in black, bring out the wall. All this effort Whoa. to find out who the childhood crush is. We're going to be over budget at this space. You took the wall out of the piglet's home. <laughs> All right, now turn it around for me. 
She's the queen of rom-coms. Uh, it's a match made in heaven. Wow. He's funny too. He's got some personality. Uh, I mean, I can you come on. What you got? Well, you know, what I got is nothing right now because initially <laughs> just from the clues being about football and you know, and I'm thinking this is an actor, you know, who can carry a tune. Someone like Michael B. Jordan, you know, and even like Taylor yeah. Kitsch of Friday Night Lights. Oh, Taylor Kitsch is good. Yeah. But I do think this is someone who is a professional recording artist. Yes. I feel like this could be JC Chavez, just by ah. just by the professionalism and the choreography, but I know NSYNC has performed, you know, Super Bowl halftime shows. Oh. You know, so I, but I think, yeah, there you go. Bye, 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 bye. 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 No, that's J.C. Shazes. That's J.C. Shazes. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm on fire, and I'm after your crown. No. I would be so excited if it was J.C. I love J.C. Totally. Um, but I was still feeling, with the Friday Night Lights vibes, Texas, I know this artist kind of sounds like him, and he's from San Antonio, Texas. Austin Mahone. That's not a bad yes. Right? Like, he's a good singer. Me good some singer. Good singer. Austin Mahone yeah. vibes. Also, I saw a knight, a knight in shining armor. He's got a song called Love at Night. Oh, it couldn't, it wouldn't be too on the snout to be Jordan. Knight, <laughs> would it? Well, that's one of my guesses. Oh, actually. Uh -oh. It's funny that you bring that up. I was feeling that boy band vibe when I first saw Piglet because I can spot those boy banders. <laughs> and Jordan Knight can sing very well. Boy uh -huh. band, New Kids on the Block. But there was also a, a horse. And Jonathan Knight, his brother, yeah. also a new kid on the block, has a farm and is known for living on farms okay. with his animals, redoing houses and farms. So right. that's what I'm saying. So I'm thinking one of those, either one of those brothers, you know what I'm saying? You know what? You had me until you dropped the pen. <laughs> Queen, <laughs> sit your butt down. Okay, I'm going to tell you, you did a great job, honey. Now I want you to go and shake that bacon right on backstage. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Just who is this powerful song, man? You tell me. I might have seemed confident last week, but honestly, I was terrified. So hearing all the love from the panel felt amazing. It's nice to have a badass on this season, yes. you know what I mean? It made me want to put into words how thankful I am to the person who gave me life and the confidence to start this journey. It hasn't always been an easy road for us. The higher I flew, the harder it became for them to keep up. Mom, manager. I saw their heart breaking, so I had to let them go. It was the hardest decision of my life. Over time, I realized I was only able to soar because of the wings they gave me. Penny and a nickel, six cents. Eventually, we were able to fly back into each other's lives, just like birds of a feather do. I'm thankful we never gave up on each other, and I hope this performance shows them just how much they mean to me. All right, do you guys want to know who the Black Swan's first crush is? Yes. Yeah. Men in Black, bring out the wall. Thank you, and spin it around for me. Oh, D'Angelo. D'Angelo! So she's probably a millennial. Oh, Could be. Could be. Oh, he made some sexy music back in right? the day. True that. His voice and talent, he plays like every instrument. He's just the one for me. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I love any girl who loves a half-naked black man, so that's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean, D'Angelo? He's ridiculously talented, super hot, right? Sexy. So it could be somebody from that era, right? Or someone younger. Oh, yeah. We saw the scale of justice, right? So I'm thinking, OK, could it be a judge? I was getting a lot of X Factor vibes. Could have been a judge on the X Factor, like Demi Lovato with those uh, vocals. All right. I like that. She's got that range, so that's not bad. I was kind of thinking Demi Lovato, too. It could be, but I know this guess I'm about to say may be on the no-fly zone of mass Singer guesses, and it's going to cost me, but it could be oh. Lindsay Lohan. Let me oh. hear me out. Oh. Hear me out. Oh. Hear me out. Oh. Hear me out. 
out. No. Black Swan doesn't like that one, Ken. <laughs> I know I sound like an idiot, but hear me out, all right? There is a globe of the world. Lindsay is well traveled. Mm -hmm. The broken heart and letting go clues could be mending the relationship with her parents. Oh, right. Honestly, I think something is driving her to prove herself. So this could be Lindsay Lowen. I think that is a terrible guess again. Self high five. <laughs> you got it, Ken. Pay up, Ken. <laughs> well, you know what? I, if, I, if I could Venmo the jar, I don't have any cash on me. I'm going to tell you something, Ken. Do you see what this is right here? Yeah. It's a tear in mother's eye because you I... strung together something that might have just made sick. What? Oh. Oh. Mommy! No. Mommy! You know, it's definitely someone with a complicated relationship with her parents. Yeah. I heard birds of a feather in the package. Yep. And I'm thinking of a singer who has a feathered tattoo on her wrist and also famously fired her father, who was oh. a manager. I think it might be Ashley Simpson. Oh. Ah. Ashley Simpson. Wow. That's a good right. guess. Black Swan, whoever you are, you're so talented, and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Just and what star is behind this colorful mask? These next few clues definitely won't have you feeling blue. Ooh. I knew if I was gonna hold my own against these powerhouse singers, I couldn't just blend in. I had to stand out and let my flow shine. Oh, why do I need this has been about embracing what makes me unique. And I made it my quest to help others shine too. Peaches, he's from Georgia. When I was young, someone inseparable from me was constantly attacked for who she was. It was hard to witness, but I helped lift her up until she ultimately learned to embrace what made her unique. Fashion Taylor. Maybe her name's Taylor. But then tragedy struck and she was taken from me. It was the most difficult thing I think I ever faced. Now, I honor her memory by fighting for those who don't feel accepted. Because I want everyone to feel proud showing their true colors. Ah! All right. Hey. Men in black, bring out the wall. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Okay, so me, we understand each other, Chameleon. <laughs> I got a thing for hot ladies. And this chick right here is smoking. She is smoking. You've got good taste. You got real good taste. Oh my gosh. Um, just like the last time, like I think we're stumped on this. Yeah. I was thinking basketball player, because in NBA circles, there are like a handful of people like Iman Shumpert. Ah. He's a singer, he's released music, and he lost his aunt recently, so yeah. I am guessing it could be Iman Shumpert. You know what, that's not a bad guess, yeah. but I saw Cheese play, guys, and I know this person played basketball in Wisconsin, okay? I saw the dress form with the Taylor tape, so this person's heavily into fashion. Ah. I think it could be Dwayne Wade. Not a bad guess. Okay. And now, lovely lady who needs some obvious help. Huh? Talk to me, Jenny. What? <laughs> Is it obvious? <laughs> I am so confused. I was thinking maybe it's two chains because there was a cheese clue. He's got a song called Blue Cheese. That's right. Right? Yeah. And then he's from Georgia and yes, we saw a peach. Peaches. So maybe it's two chains. Go off, sis. All two right. chains. <laughs> Chameleon, I still think I know who you are for other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ask you to go on and hit, come on. Head on backstage. Go on now. Great job. Right. Get out of here. here. Wild card, y'all. Put your hands together for the crab. Okay, bring it, crab. Shake, 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 Sinora. Shake your body. Oh, man. Yeah. This guy be so shake, big. Shake, shake, Sinora. <laughs> shake it all the time. Jump in the line. Rock your body. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
Are y'all feeling crabby because you have no idea who's behind the crab mask? Maybe something will crawl out at you. See what I did there? All my life, I dreamed of being a star. And I was blessed that my dream came true in a flash. Everyone around the globe wanted to be like me. I felt like a king crab. Jay-Z. Kanye. But with every blessing, tragedy seems to follow. It's been a struggle dealing with the darkness that has followed me and my family. We've endured so many twists, turns, and traumas. Crab has been through it. But through the pain, it's the love of my family that gives me the strength to stand back up and be a star again. My song tonight is a tribute to that love and the family members that have gone before me. Because after all the darkness, it's time to finally let the light back in. Do you guys want to know who the crab had a crush on when he was just a little crustacean? Yes! Bring out another wall! What she just said. <laughs> about to find out about you. Turn it around. Yes! Oh, Miss Jackson. Oh! oh. Miss Jackson? We grew up together on good times. Oh, you grew up <laughs> together, together on good times. Oh. But it could maybe grew up in terms of. Grew up like soundtrack of my life growing up. Correct. Right, yeah. All right, kid, who do you think it is? Okay, just hearing the clues before I saw the crowd perform was thinking about Lenny Kravis. Ah, had a, a tragic loss of his mother with Roxy Roker. Uh, I was a big fan of the Jeffersons. But watching you and just the power of your music. I was thinking Bobby Brown. Ah. Obviously lost someone very close to him. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? I like where you're going with the new edition. I think the age makes sense to be a fan of Janet Jackson, but I don't have it locked in, and the vocal tone, I just don't have it locked in yet. But if I'm going off the clues, there were fish in the package, which hints to his name, and he was our game changer tonight, and he actually has a couple albums named Game Changer. And he was also a new addition, not Bobby Brown, but the other fish, Johnny Gill. Okay. Oh, snap. I like it. I like it. Whoever you are, this is the rawest performance I've ever seen on the show. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your heart with yes. us. Yes. And honestly, I'm dying to know who you are.